Hey, folks, how you doing? Welcome to Well. And today on Well, I'm going to do something a little bit different, a little bit of a different format. I'm going to do a question and answer series with myself um, to stimulate a conversation that's very important to me and important to everybody else as we live the lives that we live. And today's episode is going to be, um, it's going to be a conversation about hard things are not easy. Okay, let me say that again. Hard things are not easy. Okay, let's get into this. James, why did you start a business in a time when no one was really looking at healthier foods and especially healthier foods from a faith-based company that adheres to your religious values, but is not a religious organization. Why did you do that, James? Well, great question, James. Thanks for asking. Thanks for having me today here to talk about, you know, why I did what I did in 2016 at, at a time when, you know, the culture was shifting from, you know, from, you know, where it was after coming out of the Great Recession to where, it, you know, was at the time. And 2016 was very pivotal for, for everything. So it's a great question that you asked me. You know, I, I started a business like this because, you know, my life up to that point, I was 42 and I felt and I was at a point where, you know, I felt it was time to make a make a serious change. I went through, you know, you know, job loss. I went through, you know, different health issues. My family went through different health issues. Um, you know, I had just, you know, been walking out my faith, you know, in, in, in earnest for about 12 years at the time and just really came to a point where it was like, OK, you know, you know why, you know, I keep struggling. Everybody I know keeps struggling. You know, why, you know, why don't we just, you know, you know, eat the way God intended for us to eat was my original feeling. And, and, and that was that's what brought me to that 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 moment, that wake up call. And, I, and so I said, OK, I'm going to start a I'm going to start a bill. I'm going to take all my food industry um, um, experience and I'm going to I'm going to sell, you know, quality, and healthy food. That's what I'm going to focus on. Yeah. OK. I had no idea, you know, working in the food industry for other companies and corporations is one thing. Starting your own business is a whole nother thing, especially when you've never, you know, had a business before, because it's not so much as what you can do or what you can bring. But, you know, at 42 years old, the world knows you as a certain way, you know, as a certain thing. And I did not realize, oh, you know, the world looks at me like this. They don't they don't you know, look at me like this. Plus, I had no idea the way I see things. I had no idea how visceral the conversation of food was for people all of my life. I had, I've, I've never seen, you know, a lot of squirmishes or a lot of, you know, consternation around, you know, the conversation about food. So, you know, I figured, you know, great food, you know, everybody's going to love it. Great rock on, you know, come to find out. Well, people are very, 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 very sensitive about food, about the conversation of food and the foods that they eat and so forth. That's one aspect, but plus, you know, at that time, you know, we could none of us could, you know, foretell, you know, the, the climate that was arising at that time at that level. But, you know, so I, I took I took into account my, my beliefs, my health situation and my my drive to, you know, improve my health and, you know, really walk out my faith and so forth. So to answer that question, I, you know, I just really, you know, I felt that it was the right thing to do. I felt that it was the right thing to do, you know. So fast forward, you know, I come to find out, you know, in, in culture and society, and we've all gone through some major shakeups and everything. I'm glad at the choice that I made, but here's the reality. You know, on this journey, you know, I've learned that hard things are not easy. And so that's, that's you know, and I've, I've learned to embrace hard things. That's the thing about, you know, about me. I've learned to embrace hard things. In order to do the initial thing that I intended to set out to do, there was a lot of hard things that had to occur, not only for me, but for, you know, the world around me. And so to answer, you know, you know, I did it because I felt like it was the right thing to do. And at this point, you know, 
I'm glad that I did it, even though I'm still struggling to get this thing going right. Hopefully that answers the question, or at least it gives a little context to it. All right, th thanks, James, for that for that response. Um, that was a pretty good response. I got a lot of clarity, um, kind of from why you do what you do, you know, and it kind of you know personifies the 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 topic of the day. You know, hard things are not easy, so so it really brings us to the next question. Okay, all of these things that you faced and everything over the past um, several years, and, you, and you've come to realize, you know, you know, hard things are not easy, and you know, people are very visceral about the foods that they eat and so forth. And just, you know, and even about faith being involved, how do you intend, how do you intend to operate a, you know, for-profit business that's faith-based, you know, as part of your, as part of your, part of your, your, your vision in, in a climate such as this, when, when, you know, when, you know, um, you know, Faith initiatives are very um, complex and they really, you know, people really feel very you know, strongly about, you know, you know, faith, especially at a time like now. And, you know, it's never been I'm just going to say, you know, you know, it's never really been a worse time for a Christian, you know, to 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 glorify his faith, you know, within his business and everything. How do you how do you how do you, you know, traverse that and include that into your into your model and how do you honestly expect for that to grow forward okay great question I, I appreciate the question you know that's been one of the things that has troubled me since the beginning you know I knew that there would be pushback I knew that there would be you know some folks that wouldn't you know wouldn't wouldn't you know get on board with with what I decided to do but I like I say I had no idea of the you know ultimate you know climate that we were you know, growing into at the time and that we were in a, in a, in a, in a, you know, historically pivotal time when, when, you know, your faith was going to be such a, you know, you know, such a, uh, a negative, you know, for, for people, um, even more so than there were, was before. But, you know, I, I feel like, you know, that, that God, you know, prepared me for a lot of years before, you know, birth and food by the word into me for a time such as this. You know, prepared me not just with my watch, but with with the word and with my studying of the word and eating of the word. And, you know, I felt that I was prepared for this um, at the time. And so when I look back, I understand a lot more of how I was prepared for it. Now, going forward, I realize, you know, we're in a culture that does not, you know, necessarily like the fact of somebody talking about their faith openly and outwardly, you know, in, you know, in, in in our um, open air environment, in the open market, so to say. I understand that. But I also understand that that creates a, a, a platform for me to build my, my company on that has to be exactly what it says that it is. You know, it's, it's, a, it's, a, you know, it's a transparency. It's a, it's a platform that, that has to, you know, you know it, doesn't, it doesn't give a lot of um, <laughs> leverage to, to do the things that go against um, um, the vision, which you know, you know, and based upon our faith and, and so forth, so it, it really it actually puts a it puts more of a, a heavy um, weight, so to say. You no know, hard things are not easy, for sure. This was a great question that you asked, uh, but it's important, you know, for me to keep my focus on the first things first, you know, and that for me is is is. You know, glorify God and provide for my family. Those are my two number one and number two focuses in life. And so I have to, you know, really focus on those daily as as I push forward, you know, and that's that's what pushes my business, you know, even even even, you know, forward. And so so, I'm, you know, this will be seven years this year. You know, I'm more optimistic now than I was even then, even though it's harder to bear fruit. But but, but what's happened is, you know, I've spent seven years of brand building. You know, so I've, I've spent seven years of, of developing and cultivating relationships. I've spent seven years of marketing and after, I spent seven years really, really getting the word out and really understanding, you know, if I couldn't do anything, at least was I could do that to really build the foundation that we're going to grow on in, in the future. So, you know, I'm really optimistic that 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 my faith is is the integral part of my business that's going to you know, that's going to really propel it forward because of the of the you know the, the 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 transparency and the mandate that I must follow 
you know, because I'm not only being watched by myself, I'm not only being watched by the Lord, but I'm being watched by everyone around me who has heard me submit my, my, my dedication. And so the world is going to definitely you know the market's going to tell me the market's going to tell me and the market's going to dictate, you know, OK, well, you're doing this wrong. You're doing that wrong or you should you know do this. Or you should do that. So the feedback is definitely going to be there, you know, but and, and that gives, you know, that that creates a higher level of accountability. If that kind of answers your question, James. Great, great answer, James. Um, I really appreciate that answer. And I definitely can see, you know, the, the the need for accountability is what makes hard things not easy. You know, um, so yeah, so great. That's a great response, and I, I I really appreciate that um that genuine answer that you've given. I mean, in, in a time like this, it's very important for us to really make sure that we have you know accountability systems set up in our lives, and that's just the reality of 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 this thing that we're doing called walking out our you know walking out our our individual walks. Now, everybody's walks are different. You know, a lot of folks' walks aren't your walks, James. You know, matter of fact, most people. Don't 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 see things that the way that you see them. Most people do not, you know, agree with the things that you do simply because they go so askew from the mainstream. You know, so how do you how do you how do you manage that in your daily life when you when you realize that so many people, you know, do not see the way that you do things and the way that things are done, I guess is the best way of putting it. Great question, James. Great question. That's been one of the hardest struggles, you know, this whole time. I, I'd like to say that I got it perfected. I got it worked out. And I, I you know, I got the, the number one answer for you. But I'm going to be honest. This is one of the hardest things that this is what you call one of those questions that you're continually answering. You're not you're not there's not a, there's not a, a one size fits all. And, and, and I'm going to be honest, there never will be, you know, because this is a this is a growth question, you know, not just individually, it's individual, it's communal, you know, it's, 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 you know, regional, it's national, it's global, you know, the, 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 you know, how, you know, you know, the how and the is, is, is going to be constantly being redefined every day, every day. We're going to, we're going to have to go back to the drawing board and say, okay, James, okay, now, uh, <laughs> but it, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's it's extremely hard. It's extremely hard because on a given day, you never know. You know, we, we, we all love consistency and, you know, we love things to be the same every day. Well, doing this the way that I'm doing it, the only way that I can do it requires for, you know, there's some things that happen in my every day that are just, you know, regular, you know, walk the dogs, you know, you know, you know, get up, you know, go through, you know, make the bed, you know, there are certain things that are the same, but I've grown in, into a realization of a pattern that every day is its own individual day. Every day. There's no, there's no day, you know, there's no day that, that, that replicates the next day. And I know that, you know, and it's, and it's more, it's more of this is the time that we're living in because we're going through so many great changes and shakeups and everything, you know, just not, not just me, not just with my company and my business, not just my personal life, you know, everywhere, everywhere else. So I have to remember that. That's how I, that's how I, you know, contextualize in my mind. Okay. This is, this is not just me. You know, I got to, you know, get out of my own head. It's not just me. We're all going through something. We're all going through some things. Okay. So how do I, how do I, you know, make sure that, 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 you know, I manage this in my personal life every day. Well, I, you know, you know, praise be to God. I have to, you know, I have to say that this time has not just been a time of building my business. It's been a time of not just building my brand, but it's been personal development. That's that's, you know, you know, changing, changing, you know, you know, bad habits into good habits. That's, you know, whether, you know, whether it's eating, whether it's, you know, um, you know, reading more, reading more, reading more, reading more voraciously, you know, reading articles, you know, books, you know, studying more, you know, spending every day enriching myself. This is how this is how I manage it. This is how I manage it, staying in a growth process and making sure that that as long as I'm in a growth process, I can manage, you know, all of these different these different things that are going to occur every day, you know, but I can not only manage them, but I can I can, you know, thrive and strive through them. So as I as I as I grow forward, you know, with my business, 
I'm able to, you know, balance that in and, and you know, and it's and it's hard. It's hard. Hard things are not easy. It's not just hard on me. It's hard on my family. It's hard on those around me because they have to watch me struggle. And see, that's one of the hardest things. It's hard enough to struggle, but it's, it's, it's even harder for those that love you to watch you struggle and know that there's nothing that they can do but watch you struggle. And so, you know, you have to be aware and you have to manage that piece. So hopefully that gives a little bit of insight and kind of answers the question that you asked, James. Great answer. Great answer, James. I really appreciate that. And that just personifies, you know, like the topic of the day. You know, hard things are not easy, folks. You know, here talking to James, you know, um, and I tell you, you know, hard things are not easy. You know, just remember that hard things are not easy, but, you know, but they're worth it. And, you know, life is full of hard things. And, you know, we have to we have to, you know, you know, understand not just for ourselves, but for others and those around us. You know, hard things are not easy. And the only way we can actually successfully, you know, conquer hard things is to gather, you know, and have to say, well, you know, OK, you know, you know, you know, I'm not going to avoid hard things. I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a, I'm a get to it and we're going to do this thing together. So hopefully that gave you a little insight and hopefully, you know, um, you can say, well, you know, this was this was an interesting perspective. And, and hopefully this talk here with James today might give you a little insight on, you know, what he's doing over there and and, you know, give, give a little insight on what you can do yourself. So talk to you later. God bless you.